Can you feel the ambience? It's a warm day in July. The sun is quite pleasant. The clouds are mostly blue. There's and a rude sandstorm is playing in the background. <laughs> it's my favourite song. I like that song. <laughs> but whenever I looked it up on YouTube, it was the actual film clip where, and the, no, the annoying thing about film clips is that they sometimes add some noises that don't belong there. Yeah. So there's the barking dog in the film clip. And for, for so long, I just thought, you know, that, that's actually part of the song. <laughs> until you actually get the CD, the single version of it, and the, the dog disappears. That's the real version of the song. Maybe the dog got offensive. Inappropriate. <laughs> it was offensive to dog kids. People. What's dog kin? People who identify as dogs instead of as humans. I see. It's good to know that you're uh, on top of a. Yeah, I'm politically correct. <laughs> I care about all the social uh, justice issues. The ones that are really testing the uh, the fabric of civilization as we know it. Yeah. And if that it's not the war in Syria. It's not the war in Ukraine. <laughs> it's not the Trump administration. It's dogs. Did you know that Alex Jones is obsessed with chimeras? And he is convinced that the American government is creating these human animal hybrids and placing them inside the human society and eventually there'll be no pure blood humans left. Why though? I know. What's the point of that? What you does should... it achieve? That's a good question. You should ask him. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Like De why is that a conspiracy? <laughs> Dear Alex Jones, why is the world <laughs> government trying to create chimeras? It's so special that chimeras.